Hey everyone, Dan here. Before we get into it, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. And also keep in mind that these are my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas. These are not meant to be, nor should you take them as investment or trading advice in any way, shape, or form. Do your own due diligence, put in the work for yourself, and make your decisions based on that. Lastly, this is a series, and I hope that you're enjoying it that way. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to watch the entire playlist from the beginning or catch up on any episodes that you've missed. Enjoy. All right, folks, we are about 45 minutes after market open on Monday, August 16th, and looking for some day trade possibilities at the moment. I'll go through what I have cleared off of the off of my positions in a minute. Looking at AMC here, I have a position still, but thinking of averaging down and just sort of taking a high, highly leveraged position in AMC for the day, um, seeing the second bullish crossover, and generally speaking, even on that dip, we kept a solid uptrend there. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to jump into this the moment. And I think I have enough for two. Do I have $66 here? And then I'll talk about what I cleared off of the balance sheet in a moment. Um, I'm going to see what it does here at the midline because this is about where it rejected last time. See back here. When it tried to make this push up, and then it just peeled back quite strongly. Could be going over the 50 here which could then drag the 20 MA in a bullish crossover above the 50. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's probably not going to let me do a market buy on this. Maybe it will. Let me try it. Okay. All right, so that's going to be my take for the day. Um, well, I guess I could do one more. We'll take a look in a minute, but I, oh no, I won't because I only have $3 and 20 cents. So that'll be, <laughs> that'll be my trade for the day. So we'll come back and see what we want to set up over, uh, for overnight. Um, there are some aftermarket close, uh, trades that look interesting to me that I had sent out in my newsletter last night. Another newsletter trade that I had sent out last night has already been running a lot this morning, I put this in last night's newsletter. You see it's up over 19% at the moment, and that's even after peeling off quite a bit. So I've been looking for an entry on this. Um, basically, this is a biopharma, and they were awaiting some um, like data results from a trial uh, that they're in or uh, an approval. Sorry, an approval process is probably a more accurate way to put it um, that they're going through, and um, they released some positive data from that today and that made it skyrocket in the pre-market. So good timing with the briefing in last night's newsletter. Um, if you want to sign up for that newsletter, there's a link in the description below. But right now we're in certainly a bearish situation. So I was looking for it to cool off to try and get an entry, but it looks like I might have missed that one. The other ones that I'm sitting on and waiting are Cairo, which has a catalyst coming up. I believe it's next week. And then... Um, kind of a weird situation with AXSM, which uh, had released some good data, but then um, the FDA or whomever had come back to them and said, you know, we need more info or there's um, some missing information uh, or something to that effect. I'm not, I don't have uh, experience in <laughs> the biopharma space really. So, uh, you know, some of it, some of the jargon, I definitely get Incorrect, but that was basically along the lines of what had happened. Um, they released the good news, <clears throat> and they had, um, I think, solid earnings. Um, yeah, identified deficiencies that preclude something, something, preclude discussion of labeling and post-marketing requirements, commitments at this time. So I, my understanding is that they were going to try to go ahead and fix this situation that the FDA had brought up. And, um, and, you know, the alert was basically to look for anything that would help clear those things up because it did get, uh, you know, it had good news and then it kind of had this, uh, drop off here and then it fell back quite a bit more. And now today it's falling off again. So I think if they can reverse that, um, you see this big drop off here, they might have the chance to claw back a bunch of that. Um, I mean, this fell from like 50 down to 
27, and now we're sitting, you know, less than half of that 50. And this was just on August 9th. So um, obviously, the situation there. But uh, that's what I was looking at for that one. Somebody keeping an eye on that, because yeah, my hope is that if they can clear that up, and then you're just sort of sitting on the laurels of the good outcome that they had um, released, then that could carry it significantly higher. Like, could that be, you know, 100% type of trade potentially? That's what I was uh, hoping for. So, but at the moment, just sort of see what we can ride with AMC. Um, I really need to be making some good moves this week because, as you see, I've been really beaten up here on my <laughs> quest to trade, you know, well above market. Right now I'm meeting market. You don't want to be putting in all this work if you could just be parking your money in an ETF probably. So I really need to buckle down and kind of be better about um, the willy-nilliness of the earnings trades that we've been making. I know that I've been, uh, there was several days last week where I said, you know, these are going to be kind of riskier than normal trades. And I think I was kind of a little bit too pleased with the eight and a half percent that I had made the week before, and then just got a little too complacent and decided to to be a little riskier than than I had been the week before, which was how I had made that eight and a half percent. So kind of a, a lesson there. Um, but we'll see what AMC can do today. I'm hoping that, you know, the potential crossovers here play out this 20 crossing over the 50. And then maybe if we can actually push into overbots, uh, there's much, much more room. I mean, this looks like it's extended high on the MACD, but it's actually just a bit over the baseline. The MACD is sitting right now only at 0 0.08 <laughs> is that area on the graph. So plenty of room to grow, um, but it's got to make the move, obviously. doesn't matter if it just has room. It needs to use it. So, yeah, so the other thing, you know, that <clears throat> could obviously be, be chancy, but could try to take some well-positioned, uh, well-placed positions would be for options trades on, on the day, day trade side of things, too. So I'm mean, keeping an eye on, like, NEO, which is getting beat up today on some bad news as well. Um, so where was the thing? They had a crash, I believe. Um, I don't know where it is now at this point, but I thought that there was bad news that there had been uh, a crash. I don't know. Is that four days ago? Oh, this is why, because I'm scrolled down. My goodness. Fatal crash involving self-driving technology. So that's a pretty rough one. So I wasn't feeling like I wanted to hop in there at the moment because, um, I mean, that stock is also already been beaten up. And then AMD, you know, I'm looking for it to potentially on the daily pull back closer to that 98 to 85 range, but that may not preclude me from jumping in for an options trade. Um, and then I'll try to line some other ones up because after tonight, I don't have a ton of earnings that I'm super excited about that are in my price range. Um, Tonight, after market closed, there are some. Oh, let me show you this. This is how I screwed up that date that time, I realized. Um, oh, it's not doing it now. But if you just saw a moment ago, if you want to re <laughs> rewind it, just to validate me, which isn't a great reason. But I clicked on the 16th, and it had showed the 17th. So anyway, but I'm interested in POW. I'm interested in uh, Roblox. I'm interested in uh, iDynamics. Um, Uh, there's I had to I had to offload Clean Spark because I needed to make room for my day trades. So it goes. Um, but yeah, these are aftermarket closed today. We'll see what happens. I feel like there was one more that I was interested in, but I am not finding it at the moment. It was in my newsletter, but. Um, yeah, those are the ones I'm going to be looking at tonight to see if they still seem like they make sense. Um, oh, no, that might be it. That's four, right? So see if they still make sense. Um, we might need to be putting in some some longer-term trades as well 
for options trades, like more uh, several day swing positions in order to try to claw back uh, some of these losses. So luckily we're not sitting on actual losses yet, but well, here could be a bit of a turnaround for TVX, TVTX, sorry, the moment. This nice double bottom, establishing it with 20. Um, we could be getting a cross over or a bounce off here. If this 50 crosses below that 200, that would be bearish, but it might then very quickly kind of just reverse. So hopefully AMC can kind of get a run going here. That's my hope. If I can get this up, you know, over 5% or so gain, I'll probably set a trailing stop loss, of like 2% at that time. But I mean, look, we're already getting crazy cakes. Price action on this puppy. All right, well, that's where we sit at the moment. Um, going to be contemplating especially what my overnight trades or several day like swing trades are going to look like later in the week because that's why I really, really, after tonight, like I said, my earnings plays uh, really take a nosedive. Things that just don't either don't make sense just from they would take too much of my account or um, they don't look like that great of a potential setup to me, that sort of thing. But uh, we'll take a look at those as the days go on and see what we're even going to do overnight tonight. Here's where I wish I had something. Well, maybe I'll go to a different broker and grab some TVTX at the moment. So I'm going to go do that. I hope you had a good trading day, and I will see you in tonight's video.